<sighs> Good evening, everybody. Happy uh, Friday evening. Um, yeah, so I didn't write this evening, but I did look up two more data. It's just data gathering phase. Yeah, I'm not ready to write yet, write again yet. So the annual per capita coffee consumption actually has been decreasing ever since 1940s. Okay, which is quite surprising. I don't know. Okay, so coffee is not causing death. More death, I, I guess. Uh, all right. All right. Yeah, which is quite surprising. Oh, okay. And from the data, what I'm seeing so far is that exercise activity per capita slightly increasing. Okay. Okay. So then lack of exercise is not cause of death. Yeah, I guess the increase, increasing cause of death probably has to do with, uh, American median 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 age increasing, okay, and uh, also birth rate decreasing. So American population is getting older and older and older in general. With less babies are bo being born in America, Americans are having less babies, and Americans are living longer year after year. Okay, so yeah, it makes sense from that alone that uh, death rate is increasing. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's not obesity, it's not tobacco, it's not lack of exercise, it's not coffee, it's not alcohol. It seems um, it's just a demographic shift, age. All right, I think that's that's the what's driving up the de yearly death rate. Okay, how interesting! I'm gonna copy and paste all this statistical data one by one tomorrow. Okay, today I did enough job gathering the data, and tomorrow, yeah, I'm gonna have to. Convert that web page, those web pages with these nice graphs into PDF. You know, print F as PDF, right? Yeah. And then take a snapshot of that data, copy and paste to the paper I'm writing, and make a citation to that website. Uh, so far, about 20, 30 pages. So it's going to be long. Yeah, about. But that's fine. Well, it is what it is. Yeah. But those interest, they are very interesting data. And I'm going to collect them into one paper, those interesting statistics for the convenience of readers, okay? Because those data are well, like scattered everywhere in the web pages, right? So this one place, all data coming together, interesting statistics. I think that's good service for the readers, okay? So, yeah. <coughs> so that's the plan for tomorrow. <clears throat> Originally, I tried to find some evidence that uh, uh, there's this hypothesis from conservatives, okay, that people who died from COVID-19, well, they are the kind of people who would have died anyway, okay? And because I'm conservative, I subscribe to that theory, all right? But, well, that's just me and other conservatives, all right? But along the way, yeah, I found some interesting data. And uh, yeah, it's, it's all good. So what else did I do? I, uh, of course, went out running after I 
walk up from long nap, brush my teeth, went out running, and did some shopping. Bought some fruits, like pineapples, watermelon. <laughs> yeah. And some nice, like, uh, Chinese food, I mean, Oriental food, like, uh, <clears throat> I guess you can say Japanese food too. Just Asiatic, Far East Asia food, Asiatic food like the patsuko, the <coughs> what's that? The, the dumplings. Huh? Yeah, I bought some dumplings, some seaweed salad, and um, the squid, squid salad, something like that. Yeah, calamari. Right? Squid. Yeah? And also I went to McDonald's again and then bought um, filet of fish. Fish sandwich. Right? Fish burger. I love that. You know, and they put cheese on there. I don't say anything, okay? Let them put cheese in there, that's fine. Because I just like love that whole package with tartar sauce and stuff. Woo! I haven't had it yet. It's in the dinner menu, okay? And yeah, large french fries and large glass of orange juice. Mm. And I did go out to park and ran. Uh, so I came home and then with my sandals, I walked around my house. Of course, it's covered by snow. About 20 inches, 10 inches, 15 inches of snow, right? <laughs> Accumulation around my backyard. Yeah, so I, with my sandals on, I walked around my yard, uh, my house, just once. Why? This corner of my left toe was kind of itchy, okay? So, there are two ways to handle this, okay? So you can put it some hot water, running hot water, or running cold water. The idea is blood circulation, to increase blood circulation, okay? Yeah. So instead of doing that, I just walked around my house with my sandals on so that my toes get exposed to snows. Right? Yeah, to help the blood circulation. And my, the itchiness is gone by now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course, you don't want to stand in with your bare toes on snow too long. You can get frostbite, okay? You don't, it's just moderation, okay? Yeah, I, I've done this before, so that's... Yeah, I know how to do this, okay? So... And also, you don't want your toe on a too hot water for too long because uh, you can get burns, right? Yeah, it's just in moderation, okay? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I feel good. Uh, I mean, Wednesday evening after I came from work, I was kind of afraid. Oh my goodness, all this free time at hand. Wednesday night, Wednesday evening, Wednesday evening at night, whole Thursday, whole Friday, whole Saturday, and whole Sunday. Oh my goodness, what on earth would I be doing? <laughs> so all this time, I would get bored. But, yeah, we found something to do, right? Writing, research, great. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this time. No, I'm not bored. I was worried. Concerned a little bit, would I be bored this week, long four day weekend, four and a half day weekend? But it turns out that yeah, very, it's been very productive four day weekend, research, writing, and yeah, it's good. Yeah, yesterday today I did exercise, running in park at night, but during the day I. Take a, take a nap, so, yeah, very productive. 
Yeah. So. We'll take five minutes break, okay? All right. Yeah, I, I'm having very good time. Yeah, I mean, very good mood. I'm not being bored, you know. We're getting some research done, so, yeah. It's great. I feel very good. Okay, happy Black Friday, I guess. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. All right, we'll take five minutes.
Yeah, so we're back. Uh, let me grab a beer. Nah, I don't think that's necessary. So, uh, ideological underpinning is the, there'll be the next section. Well, previous section, yeah, I still need to copy and paste all those graphs, statistical data, okay. But next section will be ideological underpinning of all this. So, uh, liberalists, they are COVID-19 alarmists. That's how conservatives would characterize liberalists. Okay? How liberalists would characterize conservatives? Conservatives? I'll give you a minute. Yeah. You know, pejorative way. You got it? COVID nineteen denialists. Okay. <laughs> COVID-19 denialists, okay? Yeah, that's how liberalists would characterize conserv conservatives, okay? So, I'll write about that, okay? <laughs> so, I mean, because conservatives, they resist whatever brand new ideology there may be. That, that's why they are called conservatives. Conservatives because uh, they stick to the old fashioned value, the old way of thinking, doing stuff. They don't want changes. But liberalists, they are progressives, progressivists, okay? They want changes. So they come up with brand new ideologies, okay? So that's the liberalists, okay? I kind of, they are not always creative, but at least they want to be creative, okay? They want something new. Right? Yeah. So that's the difference between conservatives and liberalists. Okay? Yeah, we, because we want to pay respect to liberalists, so we don't call them liberals. We call them liberalists. Out of respect. Okay? But they are Americans too. Alright? Roughly half of Americans are liberalists. Right? The other half conservatives. How about independent? Well, depending on the issues, right, so in the scale of things, if we add up arithmetically, okay, yeah, there is ne never exact zero, it'd be like 0 0.1, negative 0 0.01, right, so if we add, on, add up all the political issues, their political leaning on each issue, we add them up, sum them up, okay based on the scale of negative 10 to plus 10. Negative 10 being left-leaning, plus 10 being right-leaning, okay. Or, or, yeah, you can flip, yeah, we don't want to say liberalists are negative people, no, we don't want to say that. Just, you know, arbitrary pick and choose of this one-dimensional coordinate system, okay, so. Yeah, maybe I'll write about that too. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, there's this theory in conservative, among conservatives, that COVID-19, death, well, causation, well, maybe it's not causation, maybe 260,000 Americans, they said they, it, they died from COVID-19, but, well, it may be, it may not be, we don't know, right? It's a theory. Because they may have died, there are kind of people who may have died anyway, maybe in a month or so, okay. Yeah, the concurrent, concurrent, because people who died from COVID-19, they are the kind of people whose immune system is weakened, right? Because not everybody who's exposed to COVID-19 died from it. Like, look at President Trump, look at uh, First Lady Melania Trump, look at Baron Trump, the son of President Trump. Yeah, they all got COVID-19, but 
they didn't die. And we are glad they didn't die, of course. Yeah, they recovered. Right? Look at President Trump. He's not healthy, man. He's old. He's in his 70s. And also, he's obese. But, and he, doesn't act, he's not, he does not do exercise. And he does not eat healthy either. He's obese. And he's old. But he recovered. Like from common cold or flu. <laughs> okay, so. He's not a healthy man. He's old. He's obese. He doesn't do exercise. He doesn't do diet. But he, he recovered. <laughs> from COVID-19. Okay? So, but people who died from COVID-19, maybe they have some pre-existing conditions, some other health issues, so their immune system is weakened. So when they, they get COVID-19, uh, they passed away and we are sorry. We, we are sorry. Okay, we are not taking light, light of this situation, but one possible theory is such that maybe they, they are the kind of people who will have died anyway, sooner, sooner, sooner or later. Okay. So yeah, that's why I tried to look for some total number of deaths in America in year 2020. And I couldn't find one. Why? Because CDC, it takes them, it takes them two years to compile that data. All right, so we don't know how many people actually died from whatever cause in America in year 2020. We don't know that yet. We have to wait two years. All right. Yeah, I mean, statistics, this yearly trend, it takes decades of effort. Every year, they have to compile this data, right? Like how many people died or how many people are smoking cigarettes per capita per year in America. Oh, it takes a lot of effort, a lot of money, a lot of people to compile that kind of data, survey. All right. Of course, it's statistical sampling. Okay, They don't ask 300 million Americans whether they smoke or not. No, it's just random statistical sampling and projection, Okay, yeah. based on percentage. Yeah, I know statistics. I study statistics, so yeah. Uh, Probability statistics, yeah, I know how it's done. Okay, so, yeah. it's it's cool. Okay, statistics, it's cool. It's not perfect though. Okay, the chi square method and hmm, right correlation stuff. Yeah, so back in the days, about five years ago when I was writing novels, okay. Yeah, it's novels. I use my pen name. It's already published online. Uh, but I use my pen name, but there are some scientific stuff, mathematical stuff there, okay. So I tried to come up with some alternative statistical method uh, to define correlation. Okay. It's already out there. I, I did publish it, okay, using my pen name in a novel, all right. Yeah. If I don't become famous for many decades, then I go back and publish all those ideas in statistics, mathematics. I publish them all okay, again in more academic research paper format like we are doing right now, nowadays. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, you know, my hairstyle, yeah, because it's holiday weekend, right? So it's kind of being oily, kind of clump, clumping. Eh, but yeah, typically I don't wash when I having long holiday all by myself. Okay, so what else? Well, I guess we'll take five minutes break. Right? Okay. Yeah.
Yeah, I, I, I feel very good. I did exercise and did some research. Yeah, I'm just comfortably relaxed. In very good mood. I feel good, so. Yeah. We'll take five minutes, okay? Yeah. Life is good. Life is good. Yeah. Study, exercise. Being very productive. Great. Learning something new, you know? Yeah. Awesome. Very cool. Oh. Let me take some so selfie. Let me take some selfies. Woo. Is my hair okay? Uh. <laughs> It doesn't look good. Oh my goodness. Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna take some selfie. Let me take off this jacket. How oh, and t shirt. Okay. Good enough. So, maybe I see you some songs. How about that? Uh, yeah. Well, Christmas coming. 
because Thanksgiving is well, yesterday, right? Yeah, so. What songs? Hmm. Let's think. Do you like Boys to Man? Yeah, I like Boys to Man. Back in 1990s. Yeah. Yeah, this chorus, harmony. Yeah. African American guys. Yeah, they, they're great. And, um, have you watched this movie, Die Hard 1? The first one? Yeah, the driver, limousine driver. <laughs> For this Bruce Willis. He played this song, Christmas Carol. But it was hip hop style rap. I like that. Okay, so African Americans hip hop rap. I'm a huge fan. And when they do Christmas Carol in their own hip hop style, it was beautifully done. Okay, so it was fantastic. I mean, when I was in Afghanistan, part of U.S. Army deployment. Okay. Yeah, during this Christmas time, we had this talent show competition, rap battle, okay? I was one of the contenders there, and I wrote my own hip-hop rap, memorized it, rehearsed it, because I'm not, I was not a natural rapper, okay? And yeah, it's about army days. Like, dress it, ride and cover down, 40 inches all around. That's army cadence, okay? So I integrated army cadence when we run in formation, okay? I integrated it to uh, hip-hop rap, and people liked it, okay? But I didn't win. <laughs> I lost. But there was this company-level competition and battalion-level competition. I did both. I did it twice, okay? So, oh, people liked it, okay? It doesn't matter who win or lose, okay? But I got certificate of appreciation, though. Certificate of effort, okay? So, yeah. I did entertain, okay? My fellow colleagues in the army, also my sergeants, officers, okay? Yeah, I did entertain them, okay? So, okay. Yeah, it's good old time, okay? So. I mean, we are like peacekeeping core. We are not like invaders or conquerors in Afghanistan. Well, they are terrorists in Afghanistan, okay? We try to help them to prevent crimes in Afghanistan, okay? So it's more like peace core, all right? Yeah. We worked with peaceful Afghanistanis, African. I mean, Afghanistan citizens, okay, fantastic people, amazing people, okay, because they're extremely talented in embroidery, like making carpets, like Persian carpet style, and um, the scarves, eyeball scarves, why? Because that's all I could afford, right? And amazing cooks, <sighs> Afghanistan rice, goat meat, shish kebab, best meat, best rice I have ever had. In my whole life, I still remember the taste, texture. <sighs> Amazing. Maybe I can tell you some stories about deployment in Af Afghanistan. Okay. Yeah, we worked with locals, Afghanistan locals. Okay. Yeah, they're just like us, hardworking, law-abiding citizens in Afghanistan. Okay. They're just like us. And I did learn some Arabic before I deployed, okay? So I was able to say some phrases like Shukran, Gazilan, thank you very much, or Marhaban, what does Marhaban mean? Ah, oh Let me look that up, okay? Marhaban, that means, may, it may mean you're welcome, okay? Let me look that up. Yes, welcome, welcome.
It can also mean hello, marhaba, marhaban. Yeah. And also like hello, like peace be unto you, like uh, yeah. So Arabic and uh, Hebrew very similar. Okay, yeah. Like, in Hebrew, shalom, right? That's all I know in Hebrew. I don't know Hebrew, okay? <laughs> shalom is the only thing I know. Peace, right? Hello, peace. Okay? The only Hebrew word I know is shalom, okay? Well, some more because I studied Bible. Like El, it means God, okay? Like Elia, Eli, Elisha. Okay, yeah, so it, like Jesus said in what Aramaic, which is based on Hebrew. Yeah, Eli, Eli, Lema, Sabachthani. Okay, yeah, God, God, why did you abandon me? Okay, yeah, that's what he said just before he died on the cross, cross picture. Okay, so yeah, Eli, Eli, yeah, that, that means God. Okay, so Elisha, prophet. Uh, this Elisha, Elisa, and uh, what's the, who's the other guy? Prophet. Just... Let me look it up. Elijah. Elijah. He's, yeah, Prophet Elijah is a protege, disciple, kind of apprentice of Prophet Elijah. Elijah, okay. Elijah, Elijah. Yeah. Two prophets in Old Testament. Okay. So Eli, it means God. Okay, yeah. So, like, the, El, like, or Al, It means the, the, like definite article. In Spanish word or Arabic word, okay, Romance language like El or Al, right? It means the, right? You have Alibaba, like uh, Alhambra, whatever, right? Yeah, it means the, okay, so. And in English, the, or some Greek origin word, like theism, theology, the, it means God too. So this definite article, the, the, like in theology, in like Greek based words, it means the, it means God. In Romance rank, language or in Arabic, L, E, L, L, or Al in Arabic, it also means the, and it also means God. Okay, like Muhammad Allah, Allah means God in Arabic. Okay, yeah. the Al El, it is definite article in those Western languages, and it also means God, Heavenly God. Okay, right. some linguistics. Okay, we'll take five minutes break, okay? Yeah, and I'll tell you some stories uh, during the deployment, Afghanistan, okay? Yeah, I, we spent like one year, slightly less than one year, okay? But like nine months, I don't think it, I don't think it was nine months, probably like 11 months, 10 months, slightly less than one year, okay? Yeah. We, we were deployed, 
in Afghanistan and I was inside the base whole time. Never got outside the base. Except for R and I to Europe. Rest and restoration. For two weeks vacation. Okay. Never got outside the base in Afghanistan. Okay. So what I'm saying is, uh, yeah, we take airplane like what C one thirty, whatever, okay. Army airplane from Afghanistan and we flew over to some other parts. Yeah, we use the like German airplane like Lufthansa, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then I went to Europe. Yeah. Okay, we take five minutes break and I tell you some stories. Nothing bad. I was inside the base whole time. Never got outside the base. Never got into any combat. Although I'm a combat veteran because we are never once attacked when we are there whole year, okay? We are lucky. Okay. And, uh, but, uh, so yeah, I was never in combat, okay? But technically, it was considered as a combat zone, Afghanistan, okay? So that's why I got my combat badge, combat patch, and I'm a combat veteran, all right? But I was never in, in a combat, combat, right? Some of my army bodies did, but not me, okay? Yeah. The only time I fired my M16 AR-15 weapon was when we needed to recertify. So we went to shooting range inside of base in Afghanistan. It was international base. It's, it's not US base, it's international base. They're all different. Soldiers from Mongolia, from Germany, Sweden. Yeah, we all together. It was international base in Afghanistan. Yeah, so. What year? Like 2010, 2011. Okay. Right. I'll tell you some more about what happened. Nothing bad. Oh, everything good. Okay. So, yeah. Some deployment story. Okay. After five minutes. Okay, we'll take a break. All right. Okay.
Okay. So, when we were in Afghanistan, well, before that, we were in Fort Hood, Texas, okay, and um, in the barracks in West Fort Hood. Back in the days, they used to be called the clean base, okay. Uh, uh, I saw some scorpions. Okay, yeah, yeah, Texas, they have scorpions, okay, so, that was cool. <laughs> it was tiny, okay, like, about two inches long, three, two, three inches long, okay. Yeah. I saw some scorpions. It was like almost dead. Okay, so kind of half dead. I don't know. It was interesting. Have you ever seen a scorpion? Uh, yeah, and some gray fox in the army, ba army barracks, around, in and about army barracks, and there were some deer as well. The deer, I love the sound. The deer hoofs, deer feet, hoofs on asphalt. Oh, I love that sound. Yeah. <laughs> in Alaska, okay, when I was, so when I first came to Alaska, like five years ago, I was in Anchorage renting an apartment room okay so i saw moose residential moose it's well paved asphalt this neighborhood and moose they're just strolling walking by munching on like crab apples and stuff it was so cute beautiful there was an anchorage okay but right here in the valley about one and a half hour north of anchorage okay yeah, we have plenty of moves too, but nowadays they don't quite stop by. I don't know where they all went. Okay. Maybe moose population is decreasing. I don't know. I haven't seen them in a while, long while. Alright. They're so cute. Oh. And back in the days, like three, four years ago, okay. They were not afraid of people, okay? They were not afraid of me, right? When they come to my premises, because it used to be their premises, natural habitat, right? But the last time I saw moose in my yard, about a year ago, they were kind of afraid of me. Okay, so they ran away. Yeah, whatever. We love moose. They're so cute. Baby moose, oh, that's so beautiful. Moose, they have very long, thin legs. Why? Because it snow. It snows in Alaska, right? So during the winter, to walk in the snow, yeah, they need to have long, thin legs. Okay, so they're beautiful. Okay. Pretty. So about four years ago, okay, in Alaska, I'm like, ah, oh, moose! Woo! So yeah, I had to, to take pictures, right? And just looking at them, they don't mind us too much, people, okay? They're used to people, right? So, but if we get too close, then they don't back down. They come at you. <laughs> okay. Alaska statistics, they say more people die from moose attack than bear attack. Yeah, moose, oh, they, they, uh, they don't back down, okay? They are not afraid of people. They are bigger, they are faster, they are stronger. And male moose, they have antlers. Very pointy, very sharp. Okay. So. But, me, being just dumb guy, right, yeah, I, I like pr playing with them, okay, so, yeah. So about five, four or five years ago, when I was in Anchorage, okay, I would go to hiking, and I saw this kind of juvenile moose, male moose, with some, it was during springtime, I guess, maybe it was autumn time. It got antler, but not too big, okay, so 
he was in the way. I was hiking trail. It was in the way. Okay, so and he would not back down. He would come at me, right? So yeah, we just chasing back and forth a couple of times, and then I grabbed this dead tree branch. Okay, and it started to run away. I was like, he ran away. Okay, well, good. I'm just guy, dumb guy, so I, I like playing with moves like that, okay, so he would come at me, I would run away, and then I would come at him, and finally I picked up this tree branch on the ground, dead tree branch, and he ran away, so. Okay, Afghanistan story. Well, Afghanistan story, uh, the cigarette was very cheap <laughs> in post exchange PX, right? But it was far away. So me and my battle buddies, okay, we call each other like battle, battle buddy, right? I mean, in basic combat training and yeah, it's some strict enforcement. You are not supposed to walk alone. Basic combat training for Bering, Georgia, year 2009, okay, 11 years ago. Yeah, and then AIT still kind of loose, kind of lax, but still some enforcement of battle body system. Okay. But when you once you are done with basic combat training, boot camp, army boot camp, and AIT advanced individual training to study your specialization, MOS, military occupation specialty, okay. Mine was uh, electrician helicopter electrician for helicopters, okay. Yeah, about one year total, okay? Three months, six months, just about less than one year, okay? And then we stationed, some of us stationed in Fort Hood, Texas. A no battle body system, okay? You are, yeah, you've been to training, okay? No battle body system, okay, anymore. But when we deployed to Afghanistan, there's some loose, okay? more lax than AIT, so you base combat training and AIT and deployment, better body system, lax and lax, lax, loose enforcement, okay? So, yeah, in Afghanistan, in the international base, uh, I, I cannot tell you the name of the international base, it's secret, okay? Yeah, I used to have, when I was in the US Army, uh, confidential, no, no, no. Secret. You have top secret, secret, and confidential. I was in the middle. Secret level. Secret, security clearance, okay? Yeah. What else in the army? Okay. As a civilian, well, I'm an army veteran, so... Yeah, technically I can still have that, because I got some paperwork done, okay? Uh, but, you know... So, so yeah, there are certain things that I cannot tell you, okay? So, I cannot tell you where the exact place I deployed in Afghanistan. Because, yeah, it's confidential. Okay? All right. Secret. But, when I was there, it's a big, big international base. Okay? So, the PX, post exchange, it was about a mile and a half away from our barracks. We would just walk, me and my buddies, who smoke cigarettes. Because we we heard about this PX where cigarettes are cheap, like Marlboro, like one dollar, okay. <laughs> Full pack Marlboro is like one dollar, okay. So, and they got some cigars. I'm not sure if it was Cuban cigar or not, but yeah, there were some nice cigars there too. Yes. So in our spare time. Me and my smoking bodies would walk all the way there, like a mile and a half, okay? And then, yeah, we would buy some cigarettes and come back. We'll take five minutes break, and I'll tell you some more interesting stories. It's all good time, good stories, okay? Yeah. Okay? Five minutes. We take a break. Okay. So, all right. Story time.
So, we did everything, right? Yeah, in the US Army as a junior enlisted soldiers. Yeah, we did everything, right? Our job, electrician for helicopters, we did that. Okay. We are mostly fixing up this night vision goggle, MVG. Okay, it's really cool stuff. Okay. Night vision, MVG. Okay. Yeah, it light up. So when it's dark, the way it works is photon, right? When it's dark, you can see everything, all right? And there's some really cool stuff like some this like infrared flashlight. <laughs> okay. And some of our Humvees or some vehicles, army vehicles, the headlight is equipped with that. Ultra red, ultra red, I mean, infrared flashlight at night. Okay, you have infrared flashlight. You don't get to see it with your bare eyes. But when you use MVG, night vision goggle, you see it. This is infrared, right? It's something really cool, okay? So, at night, you have flashlight, infrared flashlight. With your bare eyes, you don't get to see it at all. But with your night vision goggle, you get to see it. It's really cool stuff, okay? So, <laughs> so that's some advanced technology, okay? US Army contractors, okay? Very cool stuff. So what I advocate for is, yeah, translate, transfer this army, U.S. Army or Air Force, whatever, this advanced technology to civilian side. That's what I advocate for. Okay. Yeah, I've been to some army technology co contractor conferences uh, because I'm a member because I'm a veteran. Okay, so yeah, I expressed that idea. Uh, but they said, yeah, no, no, we don't want to do that. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Wait until I become the president of the United States, okay? Then we'll see what's what, okay? So, yeah, all this advanced technology, NASA, what? NASA, the space for US military, this advanced, very advanced technologies, yeah, we should transport to civilian world, okay? Because they are really advanced, okay? So yeah, besides that, yeah, we did everything, got like gate guard, right? Yeah, we M16, fully loaded, okay. Assault weapon, okay, but not a single incident happened. We were 24 seven with loaded M16 when we go to bathroom, shower, chow hall, defect, meaning what a defect dining facility, okay, cafeteria, all right? And when we even sleep, we are supposed to have M16 right next to us, 24 seven for entire year, okay? And we did, but not a single incident happened. No shooting, no, why? Because we learned well, okay? Basic combat training, okay? So it was very first time I was exposed to weapon, gone. Okay. In Korea, they don't have any guns. Okay. So, and so the very first time I was able to, I learned to use a gun, it was in the US Army. Okay. We learned very well. Hmm? Not a single incident happened. No shooting. No. We go to range and we shoot. Okay. That's, that was it. Okay. So, yeah. So I was gate guard, okay, yeah. I mean, I was also mail room clerk and also chemical room manager clerk, okay. All these chemical, these cans of chemicals, some acids, thinners, yeah, you name it, okay. All the chemicals, okay. I was doing inventory, I managed, okay. Yeah, also mail clerk, mail lorry, envelopes and packages, parcels, okay. 
We did everything, okay? Yeah, we cleaned the bathroom and everything, okay? <laughs> Sweeping, snow, yeah, salting the surface. We did everything, okay? Put some sand, put some salt in the winter time, okay? We did everything, okay? So We also did gate guard, okay? So uh, when I was doing gate guard duty, Fully, yeah, Kevlar, bulletproof Kevlar, bulletproof vest, everything, okay? Lock and loaded, not locked, but loaded M16, okay? Gate guard, we do all that stuff, okay? And during the springtime, there was some flood, we had to get the water out, okay? Pumping, we do everything, okay? So, yeah, just flooded, so we were walk, wait, walking up in the middle of the night to get the water out, or just pumping and stuff okay we did everything right so when i was doing gay guard with my army bodies there were some camel spiders then i technically spiders but some what arachnid arachnid <laughs> arachnid camel spider okay hey, they are big they're like this big okay yeah in Afghanistan desert, okay, they grow and grow and they become very big. Okay, so, so when I was gate guard in get this gate post, yeah, this camel spider like this big, okay, they would come and I would like, my army bodies, hey, kill that thing. We it looks like alien movie, right? <laughs> but. I'm kind of environmentalist. I love animals. Okay. No, 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 don't kill that thing. Camel spider, they're cute, they're beautiful, okay? They're big. Don't get scared of these animals, okay? Don't kill it. I just, I just chase it away, okay? With my army boot, okay? Yeah, just go away, okay? Because my army bodies, they want to kill you. But I don't want them to kill you, okay? Just go away. My army boot, okay. <laughs> like, like, like this, okay. So I chase them away, and sometimes this camel spider, like this big, would be like this. You turn around and do this. Oh, Homo sapiens, you human being, you're Asian. What are you doing in Afghanistan, man? This is my home. I'm camel spider, okay. What are you doing here? Huh? So he was about. He or she was about to find me like this, okay? I'm like, eh, man, I'm trying to save your life, okay? With my army bodies, they're not as nice as I, like me. <coughs> my army bodies, they're trying to kill you, okay? I'm trying to save your life, man. Any man or woman, okay? You can't spell a female or male, okay? Just move along, okay? Go away, okay? And also, there's some desert fox, right? Yeah, my army bodies, okay? They love fox. They're so cute, beautiful, right? And fox, they know. People love them. Okay, so they'll come to this gate guard post, right? Checkpoint, okay? In the base, right? They'll come in the evening time because they're very smart. Foxes, very smart, very adaptive, okay? They'll come in to, during the evening time, okay? My army bodies, they love them. Okay? They love those, that one fox, they would come to this gate post, gate guard post. They'll throw some good stuff like muffin. <laughs> Muffin, <laughs> banana muffin, blueberry muffin, okay. They throw pill and throw muffin to that fox, oh, and he or she loved it, okay. But me, I love muffin, okay. I, I would not throw muffin to the fox, I would eat it myself. So what, I'm Asian, okay, so what did I throw him? Ramen noodles. Very dry, right? I Muffin, very moist. 
moist, wet. But I want muffin to myself, okay? But I plain ramen noodles because I'm Asian, okay? So I throw some ramen noodles to the fox, okay? And it choked. It's because it's very dry. Like, <laughs> you Asia, you are so cheap! You give me ramen noodle? What are you doing, you Asia? Go back to your country! I was like... <laughs> so he, he started talking, okay, but he didn't die. So he grabbed this with his snout, fox, mouth, okay. Yeah, he grabbed this noodle that I threw him for her. Went away, right? We had a good life, okay. So. Good old army days, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I was gay guard, okay. So yeah, army sergeants, army officers, okay. We have to check their identification, okay. I will salute, right? Or parade rest, right? If they are NCO, non-commissioned officers, sergeants, yeah, parade rest, right? If they are officers, okay, yeah, salute, right? Yeah. But we have to check their identification card as gate guards, okay? Yeah, we know them, of course, by face, facial recognition, we know who they are, but by the rule, we have to check their identification card, okay? We are just junior enlisted, okay, but we are gate guards. So, oh, good evening, officer. Good evening, sergeant. But, well, by the rule, we have to check your identification card, ID card. We know who you are. But by the rule, yeah, we have, would you please show us your ID? And they did. Okay, every single time. So we are junior enlisted soldiers, private, right? Well, private second class, private first class, and specialist or corporal, okay? E1, E4, okay? That's us, junior enlisted soldiers, okay? In the US Army, okay? But kind of, we are in charge, okay? Yeah, they may be generals or sergeants, colonels. Okay, lieutenants, captains, okay. But we are in charge in this gate. So would you please show us your ID? We, we you know we know who you are. We know you, okay. But still by the army US Army rule, yeah, you have to show us ID. Yeah, you are rank us, right? You we are junior enlisted soldiers, okay. But you have to show us ID by army rule. And they did. Every single time. Okay. Kind of reverse of the role, right? Yeah. Good time. We are friends. <laughs> Many of them I still keep in touch with. In social media, okay. Good time, right? Yeah, all different races, blacks, whites, browns, Hispanics, Jews, Middle Easterns, Asians, mixed races, okay. Yeah, we, we, we are in combat zone, okay, so. No racism, okay, yeah, there's no racism. We depend on each other, okay, so. No racism at all. Yeah, good time. We we'll take five minutes break, okay? And then I'll tell you some more about army stories, US Army, okay? I never been to Korean Army, but I did listen to my Korean friends. They will tell me about Korean Army, my Korean friends, okay? Maybe I, maybe I can tell you some Korean army stories that are hard for my Korean friends. Never been to Korean army, okay? 
because I'm an American citizen, I was born in America, okay, but I did hear some stories that happened in Korea um, from my Korean friends. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll take five minutes break and maybe I'll tell you some more about that. Okay. Kind of second-hand story. Okay. Yeah, because I've never been in Korean army, okay, but I did heard some stories from my Korean friends about Korean army, okay. Yeah. Kind of second, second-hand story, okay, so, yeah. After five minutes, okay. I'm kind of getting drunk. Yeah. We'll take five minutes break, okay, so. Okay. Okay, we are back, and uh, let me sing you some instrumental music. I'm a huge fan of instrumental music. When I write this academic research papers, okay, yeah, background music, mostly instrumental. Sometimes classical music like Peter and the Wolf or Carnival of Animals by Sang Sang, okay, yeah. Peter and the Wolf, that's like Proto Kiev, some Russian composer, fantastic, okay. Da 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 la 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 And Sang Sang, Carnival of Animals, something like that, okay. And some Hukton instrumental, Hukton themes, right. And also Biggie there, right, Biggie there, she's Caucasian, female, aged, all right. Probably she's in her eighties by now, okay. But she still play piano, okay. Jazz, jazz style. Great jazz pianist, Eastern Coast. 
Bille, Eddie and the trio. Some percussionist and this uh, contrabass. Finger, okay. Tum, 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 tum. Yeah, contrabass, okay. Huge fan, okay. And also Steve Oliver, right? Yeah, guitarist. Eastern Coast. Based on Kelly, I mean, Pennsylvania, something like that, okay. Yeah, great guitarist. Yeah, the, uh, Steve Oliver, right? Yeah, like, Trade Winds and Magic World and fantastic, okay. Great instrumentalists, right? No lyrics because, hey, I'm focusing on this paper, some background music. I don't want to hear any lyrics, okay? Words. No, I'm writing this academic research paper, so yeah. Instrumental, right? Yeah. Yeah, in YouTube, Google YouTube. I love this. Yeah, Monday jazz, Monday morning jazz, Tuesday jazz, live, right? I hide chat because, yeah. But yeah, when I'm working, okay, yeah. Monday jazz, Tuesday jazz, Wednesday jazz, Thursday jazz. Friday jazz. Yeah, great instrumental music. Alright? Yeah. So, Miss Big there. One of the greatest jazz pianist musician ever, okay? And one of my favorite, I have many, okay? So, yeah, she would play this piano, okay? She's in her 70s, 80s, okay? She's still playing, okay? So, Elvis, Big Eddie style. Dun, da, 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 da. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, and also she's old school, okay. She's in you know, her 70s, 80s, okay. She know good stuff. Like Frank Sinatra, like da 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 And some others. Forced view, okay. <sighs> Great instrumental musicians, okay. Yeah, that's that, okay. So. Okay, Steve Oliver, yeah. Guitarist, okay. Acoustic guitar. Ta -da, ta -da. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta Da 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 Fantastic. Yeah. So yeah, I play this intro instrumental music in Google YouTube and when I'm writing these papers. Huge fan because I don't play piano, I don't play guitar, okay, because I I, I try to learn piano, guitar, I couldn't, okay. <laughs> It's something I just couldn't do. <laughs> Piano, guitar, instruments. I, it's not for me, okay? Yeah, it's too technical, okay? Yeah, I, I, I cannot play any piano, guitar, instruments, okay? I try to learn many instruments like harmonica, violin, guitar, piano, recorder. I just couldn't do it, okay? It's too much, alright? But I'm a huge fan instrumental music, including classical music, okay. Yeah. My friends did. 
I've made friends who can play instruments like violin, guitar, harmonica, okay? Yeah, but I couldn't, right? Well, so what else happened in Afghanistan? Well, all the good things, right? Yeah. But I had some difficult time too. Okay. Yeah, during the springtime, there are these red flowers. We don't know what the species were, but in the springtime, yeah, flower blooming like red, yellow. Okay. Oh, you're so beautiful. Right? In the desert. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. Desert flowers in Afghanistan, so beautiful during the springtime. Okay, it was beautiful. Yeah, in Afghanistan, yeah, it snowed, it rains. Okay, it's not too desertish. Okay, because it rains, it snowed. Okay, yeah, beautiful. So we had this USO, United Service Organization, USO library, okay. It, a lot of books, so I volunteered to organize the books, okay. Put it in the shelf, nice and organized, okay. Yeah, in my spare time in Afghanistan, USO organization, okay. Yeah, I did arrange the books nicely, make it clean, neat, presentable. I did that, okay, yeah. And it was free for us, so yeah, a lot of these care packages from America, okay. Yeah, we got care package. Sometimes, yeah, care package in the United States Postal Service, USPS package, okay. We got that, okay. We were very grateful to Americans to care about our soldiers, right. Yeah, I was in Afghanistan, we got care packages, okay? Yeah, so some ramen noodles, some goodies, like candies, right? And sometimes some books, okay? Paperback, yeah. So yeah, we will donate these books to this library in USO, okay? That was back in year 2010, 10 years ago. And yeah, I was studying for LSAT, Law School Automation Test, because I wanted to be a lawyer. And I'm a lawyer now, okay. So I got it, okay. So, like, Grisham, John Grisham, whatever, okay. Yeah, this legal drama, fictions, okay. So I started collecting them, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I read some of them. Also, David Baldacci, okay, great page tunnel. Yeah. Thrill fiction, action fiction, okay. David Baldacci, really, it was great. Yeah, during my spare time, I would read books. Also, I would practice martial arts. Me and my army buddies, okay, we would teach each other some martial arts skills that we know, we know okay, so. Do you have spare time, okay? Yeah. In Fort Hood, Texas, Afghanistan, yeah, we would teach each other sharing of knowledge about martial arts, right? Yeah, you do that. Our spare time, okay, so yeah. Uh, we didn't punch each other, kick each other, okay. We just practice my heart in the air, okay. Hey! Show me your punch! Okay, like, yeah, uh, you know. 
you want me to show you my punch? Hey, give me five minutes, okay? Then we'll do some martial arts, okay? Yeah, we got time. Give me five minutes. We'll do some martial arts, okay? Okay. okay. Five minutes, okay. Okay, so some of my friends are mixed races, okay, and they were very good at mixed martial arts, <laughs> okay, pun intended, okay, yeah, some mixed races, friends of mine, when I was in the U.S. Army, okay, we are Browns, okay, we hung out together, okay, some of them from Philippines, some of them American, some, some of them Midwest, Wherever, okay. Mixed martial art, mixed race people. They're just browns, okay. And some of them from Philippines. Some of them from Asia, okay, like me. Okay, so we all share the knowledge. But mostly I was a loner student. Yeah, your Kung Fu is better than mine, okay. Just teach me, okay. And they did teach me good martial arts, okay. And when I was in Madison, Wisconsin, okay, some of my Korean friends who are older than me, okay, they told me back, back punch. Here, okay. Right here, okay. Ah, like, ah, back punch, okay. And some of my friends, they are Caucasians, but they are white people, okay, white guys, Caucasian guys, okay. And they specialized in Jikondo. Uh, Bruce Lee, okay. I asked them, okay, ah, show me your punch. And he was like this, like, like what? Whoa, that was so fast, powerful. Like, like, my goodness, I couldn't see. Like shadow punching, okay. Man, that's a good punch, man. You Caucasian guy, you're not Asian. White guy, okay. Madison, Wisconsin, okay. We made it in a bar, right? I, we are just learning 
martial arts in, as a civilian, okay, so, yeah, hey man, I'm all yours, okay, I'm all yours, teach me, martial arts skills, okay, and they told me very good stuff, okay, Chikundo style this, yeah, that was good, okay, so, but in the U.S. Army in Afghanistan, okay, my friends in the U.S. Army, they told me how to use nunchucks. They made me one. Okay. Yeah, I still have it. Over there, okay, so. i show you. Yeah, I still have it, okay. Yes, wooden nunchuck, okay. It's too hard. Right? I don't want to hurt myself, okay? Because it's army boot string, okay? Yeah, army boot string, okay? So it's like... My army bodies, they made this for me, okay? I'm eternally grateful, God bless them, okay? So... Yeah, I still have it, okay? Yeah, but when I practice nunchucks, okay? I use this form nunchuck because I'm kind of, I'm not hardcore martial artist. I'm softcore, okay. Yeah, Amazon.com, okay. Yeah. Right, so that I don't hurt myself, okay. Yeah, right? Right? Yeah? <laughs> like this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know some nunchuck style, okay, because I studied nunchucks when I was in the U.S. Army, deployed to Afghanistan. That's when I learned how to use nunchucks, okay, because you got some spare time, right? Yeah, I would go to USO, where they have computers with internet connection and YouTube, okay, so that's how I learned nunchucks. Okay, because we have some free time, yeah, so yeah, I lose, learn some nunchucks there, okay, and some Tai Chi, Lao Tzu, okay, because we have spare time, so when we have spare time, when we got nothing else going on, yeah, what do I do? I practice martial arts, learn some dancing style, okay? Yeah. <sighs> to ease our boredom, okay? So, yeah. Yeah, show me your punch or kick, okay? Yeah. Show me your kick, your kicks and punches. I give you a minute, right? Just in the air, don't mm -hmm. punch me, kick me, okay? Just in the air. I don't want to be kicked and punch, punched, okay? So. I give you a minute, okay? So. I mean, we are, I mean, I am Christian, okay, so we don't, I don't want to kick and punch a person. God yeah, and people, yeah, Adam and Eve, okay, made after God's image, so we don't want to hurt people. But when it comes to bear, trying to kill me, eat me, oh yeah, okay, so that's how I would do it, okay, so. Yeah, so I just show my punch, okay? Kicks? Yeah, sure. Oh, I'm in Alaska, right? So this Alaskan grizzly, right? With his claws, okay? Yeah, I go like this, okay? Like, uh, like this, like, uh, right? 
right? I go under and to the side and like this. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Woo! Great cardio exercise, right? Explosive. <sighs> Let me take off these long pants. I have short pants on the knees. Okay, so. Okay. Some exercise, right? Yeah. Whew. Here's some knowledge sharing, right? So when I was in Afghanistan, we would teach and learn from each other, martial skill. Mostly I learned from others. Yeah. Because, yeah, my martial is kind of short, shallow, right? I'm like, you guys, your martial art is better than mine, okay? Yeah, I know some, but your martial art is way better than mine, okay? So, yeah, teach me. I'm all yours. I'm all yours, okay? And they did teach me good martial arts. All different ethnicity, different styles. Okay? So, I'm like, thank you! My price, humility. Okay, I humbled myself, lowered myself. So you are my teacher, I'm your student. Teach me. And they did. I didn't pay them, they didn't expect me to pay them. Okay, so. Yeah. I mean, sometimes I would buy them some lunch for these martial arts lessons. Okay, so. So yeah, over the decades, I learned a great deal about my arts, okay, so, fantastic friends, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. Welcome to Humanology, okay? Anything goes, alright? Yeah, I'm sorry about my hairstyle. It's kind of clumpy and oily. I'm sorry, okay? But, yeah, in Humanology series, we just, whatever, we are like, whatever, okay? We're relaxed. <laughs> okay, let me take some selfie. I kind of like my hairstyle now. So, when it comes to health, yeah, it's about blood circulation, okay? Hygiene, diet, exercise. Yeah, it's about blood circulation. That's all there is to it. COVID-19, whatever, right? Climate change, yeah, whatever, okay? Yeah. Diet, exercise. Live long, longevity, live happy, right? Yeah, I mean, we want to eat some comfort food sometimes. We need that, right? Yeah, sugar and fat, not much nutritional value, but they taste good, right? So metaphysically speaking, yeah, they're good food, comfort food, okay? We need that. Sugary, fatty, like... McDonald's, 
French fries or Twinkie, pecan pie, cherry pie, or birthday cake. Okay. They are good, okay, yeah, we need that, okay, every once in a while. Right? But as long as we control our appetite for sugar and fat, that's fine, right? We just need to control it. Okay. How about SEX? Well, in hum this version of human allergy, yeah, we rather recommend adult websites, okay? Because you don't want to get STD, like herpes, gonorrhea, or... You don't want to get that, okay? So, yeah, we emphasize in abstinence, okay? That's all I have to say, right? We're not gonna get into details because this is public domain. <laughs> I cannot tell you details about that business. Okay, so. So yeah, we did some martial arts, right? But dancing, martial arts, like yin and yang, peace versus, martial arts is not balance, okay, but martial art, yeah, it could be deadly, okay, do I know how to kill a person, yeah, we, as a martial artist, we learn that, okay, just grab somebody's head and twist it, yeah, do I know how to break somebody's bone, yeah, I learned martial arts, okay, it's deadly, fatal moves. I did learn many of that because I'm a martial artist student. Yeah, we learned that stuff. Yeah. And because there's some bad guys out there. Okay. Martial art is about war, survival, fighting, violence. So in martial arts, yeah, we do, we do learn some deadly, fatal moves, how to kill a person, okay? I'm a U.S. Army soldier too, I mean veteran, okay? Yeah, I, we learn that stuff, okay? Do I know how to kill a person? Yeah, I do. Yeah, just grab neck, twist, jerk, okay? Yeah, I, I know some skills, okay? Uh, because I'm a martial artist, okay, I'm a veteran, combat veteran, okay, we learn that stuff, okay, so, because somebody is kind of crazy, right, shooting everybody, you know, shopping mall, or, you know, school, or, you know, playground, you have to neutralize that person, okay, you don't want to quite kill that person, criminal, right? But sometimes maybe we have to, okay? To save other people. If one person is about to kill 100 people, and if there's only one option to neutralize this person, we don't want to kill that person, murderer, mass murderer, serial killer, but sometimes we have to, okay? It's a war, collateral casualty, there's some mistakes made. Yeah, we don't want to kill that person, but sometimes we don't have any, any other option. Osama bin Laden, you have other terrorists, whatever, serial killer, domestic terrorists in America. Sometimes, you know, we don't have any option, okay, so Yeah, like special forces, navy seals Special ops Yeah, they study anatomy, physiology, okay Like Terminator movie, right, James Cameron, right Yeah, it's, we learn that kind of stuff as a martial artist or soldier military in any countries, how to kill a person very fast. Did I learn that? Yes, I did. Okay. 
But we don't want to kill people, okay? But it's like economics, okay? One person, criminal, terrorist. We don't want to kill him, okay? But sometimes logistics, yeah, we don't really have energy or time to make him repent. We want to make him repent. We don't want to kill. We do not want to kill him, okay? But sometimes, if this guy has machine gun, you know, shopping mall, right? Starting to kill everybody around him. He's suicidal. Mother suicide, kind of. Well, if we kill that guy, we can save a hundred innocent people, right? So yeah, we military people, martial artists, we learn how to kill a person quickly. Okay. Do I know some of the techniques? I do. I have learned, okay. But we don't want to kill people, okay? But if we kill one person who's about to kill hundreds or thousands of people, well, we are busy, we don't have time. We, we want, we rather do some jujitsu and do this arm lock, right? Ankle lock or neck lock. And let him leave. Let him repent. Give him a second chance, right? But in a war situation, crime situation, it's not always like that, okay? Like Mr. Tory Floyd, right? Yeah, he's. We are. We regret, okay? Yeah, he's passing, we are sorry, but police officers. It's life and death situation, okay? So, sometimes it happens, okay? They make mistakes, okay? So, you understand, some of us, who are martial artists, military personnel, veterans, we all understand there's some collateral damage, collateral casualty. We are sorry, but sometimes it happens. It's a war. Collateral damage, collateral casualty, okay? So Mr. George Floyd, BLM, okay? Black Lives Matter, whatever. Yeah, it happens, okay? So, yeah, Ms. Breonna Taylor, whatever, okay? It happens, okay? We are sorry, but in war, setting police officers <sighs> collateral damage collateral casualty innocent people that do die in a war setting okay yeah we don't want to kill people okay even if they commit crimes like rape murder child molest or whatever okay yeah, horrendous crimes happen, okay, so in between police officers arresting people, they have guns, police officers have guns, okay. It happens, okay, it's war, collateral damage, collateral casualty, okay. We understand that, okay, because I'm United States Army veteran. I'm also Asiatic, Oriental. Martial artist, okay, so it happens, we understand that. Okay. The language of brute force, right? It happens, okay? For the sake of entertainment, in mixed martial art, MMA, or UFC, Ultimate Fighting Championship, some people get bruised, some people even die for the sake of entertainment, okay? Yeah. They break bones, nose bleeding, broken bones. They sometimes even die. 
for the sake of entertainment in mixed martial art ultimate fighting championship. Many people died. They got broken bones. Okay. It happens. So do we learn how to kill a person? We do. Martial artists or military personnel, police officers. Because sometimes it's necessary, okay? Yeah. Yeah, arm lock, leg lock, knee, ankle, toes, fingers. Yeah, submission style, Japanese people, very gentle, right? Yeah, just tap out, right? But sometimes, like in Brazil, when this Japanese Jewish champion came to Japanese Jewish champion came to Brazil, U Brazil. <laughs> to, yeah, this uh, was that uh, crazy Jewish Jew, okay? Who is crazy? His father, right? Yeah, he had to break a few of his bones because he wouldn't submit, okay? So. They threw eggs to him, okay? Yeah, so sometimes it happens, okay? So, we understand martial artists, okay? Yeah, arm lock, we are being nice. Yeah, tap out, if you don't, okay? We may have to break a few of your bones, okay? We understand that as a minor artist, okay? Yeah, arm lock, leg lock, ankle, okay? Tap out, you don't? Yeah, maybe, then maybe we have to break your bones. Tendons, okay? But we don't want that, okay? But if you don't submit, you have a knife, yeah, yeah, we don't have time, okay? I don't have a knife, but you have a knife. Yeah, we have to twist and turn and jerk a little bit, okay? Just a little bit, one inch, okay? And break a few of your bones. You have a knife, I don't, okay? We have to neutralize you. If you're a criminal, you want to kill people? You want to kill me? I'm not gonna kill you, but I may have to break a few of your bones. So that you drop your knife, right? I know how, to, I'm a martial artist. I know how to use knife, okay? But you have a knife, I don't, okay? <laughs> so yeah, I have to break a few of your bones, okay? To neutralize you after I broke your few of your bones well you have to thank me okay because i didn't break your neck bone okay i broke your arm bones leg bones okay so you have, you finally drop your knife okay i you're hurting i ah you broke my arm well i had to you have a knife you're trying to kill me okay I have to break your arm bones. You dropped your knife, okay? You are in pain, like, ah! I called the police, time on one, okay? They will take you to jail, all right? Yeah, I had to, okay? Because you don't, you don't, you know, I, I didn't want to get into the situation, okay? But you did not know I know somebody hard, right? But you have a knife. You are trying to kill me. Okay, yeah, I have to break your bones, arm bones, okay? So, bruh. Yeah, it's dog eat dog world. You have to love my heart. You have to know how to use knives, nunchucks, steps, okay, rods, punching, kicking, knee. Elbow, your hip, your head, it's not much art, okay? So, but there are bad guys out there, okay? We're trying to rob you, kill you, rape you. Yeah.
Okay. Yeah. That's what I have to say. Okay. All right. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Thank you.